so now here let's initialize our game model so let's say final game model will be equal to game model okay so let's bring them down Alright, so let's update this. So for the creator ID, we know that we've got our creator ID here. Okay. We can just copy that and paste it here. The user ID, we know that all these things we have set them up here. So the position thing, so for the position thing, we're just going to run our method get position thing. And then the winner ID, we don't have the winner ID for now, so it's going to be empty. White time, uh, so this time we are going to get from the game. So what's happening is, if we are joining a game, we are going to join the settings that the one who created the game has put, okay? That's how it's going to be. If you are joining a game, we are going to join and the time and and all that will be depending on the peop the person who has created the game what they have set okay so white time and black time we are going to get from game okay so which is game at a field called constants load white time okay which also black time we are going to get from the game field called constants dot uh, blacks time and then white current move this is there is no move available so this will be empty but we don't have moves yet and then uh, for the board state we are going to get the state of the board so let's say state dot uh, board and then uh, dot uh, flipped we're going to get the uh, this dot to string okay the state of the board and then the player state also we are going to get the players a players uh, this will be play state not player play state dot our 10 dot name dot to string okay uh, that, that's going to be the play state that we are going to get and then is white 10 we're going to set it to true because the game is starting and then uh, is game over we're going to set it to false and then uh, square state now for this one we're just going to set the square I mean uh, state dot player like that and then the moves we're going to get the state so here we can also just get the state like that because it's it's the same okay so we're going to get the state dot moves dot to list the moves which are there okay so that's our game model and then now down here after initialize the game model we have to create the game now the one that we are going to be reading all the changes okay so this will be like a game controller the one that the playing game okay so let's make a comment create a game uh, let's say game controller directory the one that uh, I already explained in the other previous video okay so in Firestore so this was going to be in await 
Firebase Firestore dot collection so we want to go in the constants of available games uh, running games actually yeah because now this we are creating the game that is going to be running the one that we are going to be reading constants dot uh, running running games and then uh, dot document which is going to be our game ID your the collection so the collection will be we said game constants don't game and then also we go into the document of the game ID and then we are going to set the game there we are going to do set which is going to be our game model dot to map okay that's how we are going to put our game there we are setting all this data that we are going to be reading as we'll be playing the game so let's go on ahead and create these two constants the game and the running games so let's copy that running games game game all right now this is how we are going to create the directory for that game and then after we create this directory we need to create now the new directory to to read this game where this game data will be the other users image and uh, the, the like the game data for this game okay so let's because this game that we have created in the controller this is what is going to be changing the play state the, we get the position from here we update the move list but the game data for who's playing this is who what are the scores and uh, all those that is what now we want to create here okay so here let's do create a new game directory okay uh, let's say in firestorm So we are going to do the same here. Maybe let's copy up to here and paste that. So inside the game ID, we're just going to set here. Okay. Now we need to set the map here. So what we want to save in here. So first we want we want the creator name, creator ID. So let's let's start constants dot uh, game creator id we have game creator id on top there so we'll save that then where can we just copy this somewhere okay there's nowhere so let's copy that we can close that here then paste it a few more times So we are going to get the save the creator ID. Let's also save the creator name. Creator name. Creator image. We named it as creator photo, I think. Yeah. And then uh, uh, what the other one is a uh, user user id which is a user id user uh, image let's save the user the other one 
which is a UBA user photo and then uh, username maybe let's put the name on top user name let's save the username I'd like to put the name after the ID and then what else what else are we saving here let's also save maybe the uh, is playing we need that is playing bullion the is playing is going to be true and then what else let's save the date created so this one is going to be date na date time dot now dot microsecond since epoch dot to string and then uh, what else can we save here mm. so since we are joining the game uh, what are we going to put here? Maybe. Uh, let's see first. What else do we need here? Let's also save uh, game score. Game score. So this one will be zero to zero. And then what else do we need? I think that's about it. So let's remove that. Uh, okay, and then let's create these three constants. All right, again, let's copy this. So we have username, paste that, paste that, we have user image, paste that, paste that, game score, game score, game score, okay. So now after we have set this, we have created a new a new directory. So down here now we need to update, let's say update game settings uh, depending on the data of the game we are joining okay so now we need to change everything now the time the the in our current in our local application to have everything that uh, the game that we are joining is set to okay so after we do that now here we can call our own success method okay after uh, the above is done then we can call our own success method so let's create the method to update the game settings depending on the the game that we are joining okay so let's create that method separately so after this all method of joining mm, down here let's say set game data and uh, settings something like this so let's create this method as a future because before we go on success we want it to complete okay 